Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam here from the TNR channel. And today, guys, um, I would like to um, announce some new DC news that has been like... I just want to talk about some new DC news that's been announced in the past couple of days slash weeks. So, um, the first set of news is I was watching an IGN video before, guys. And um, what do you call it? The, they got in a special guest and uh, who actually got to visit the um, set for the Justice League film. Now, he said that the Justice League solo film would not be as dark and somber as the previous two films had been, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. Now, I like that because I, as, although BVS was my favourite, my current favourite film of 2016, I really didn't like... Um, I really didn't like how dark it was and how like old and broody it was. I really, I really do enjoy a bit of um, comedy in superhero films, even if they are supposed to be serious. It's good to just have like a crack of joke every now and again. And um, the special guest that was on it said the best person to do that was actually the Flash. Um, he said that Ezra Miller fit perfectly as the Flash. He said he was a funny comic relief character. He basically said he was um, the Spider-Man of the DCEU. He he lightened up the DCEU. He brought it comedy in its serious times, and I think that's just a great. I think that's just great how they're doing that. Uh, the second, the next news I want to talk about is Justice League not no longer being in two parts. So they've announced now that the Justice League film will just be in one part now, one film, which I think is going to be a bit stupid because I think it's all going to be rushed. Because if you think about it, Bruce Wayne has to go around, he has to recruit all the Justice League members like Aquaman, The Flash and Cyborg. He has to go like recruit them all. Then he has to um then he has to give them all costumes and names. Then he has to um and then they all have to trust each other. They all have to start working together. And they have to fight the main villain and defeat him in, like, about a two and a half hour span. Which I just don't... Like, that's why... This this is what's um, given me more hope about Infinity War. Because I think it's just going to be... Like, uh, Infinity War being split into two parts, I think, is what Justice League should have done. But which they were originally planning to do, but then they didn't, which I just think I just didn't like that. But anyway, I still think I'll love it. Uh, the next point, the main villain of um the main villain is not Darkseid. Um although loads of fans speculated, me included, thinking that the main villain was going to indeed be Darkseid, we have um we've been proven that it's actually not going to be Darkseid. Um and that brings me on to my next point. The main villain is actually going to be Apocalypse, who was like a, who was Darkseid's uncle in the comics. Um, I know this because I've uh, I've read one of the comics with Apocalypse in it, and he is basically got he, he's Darkseid's uncle, and he's city he's powerful. And I think if they brought him to life on a if they brought him perfectly to life on um, on screen, I think they can make a perfect character out of him. He's got a great set of powers. I really think they could make him work. And they could also set up Darkseid in the same time. So maybe in the second Justice League film, Darkseid can actually be the um, main villain. Because I would really like to see Darkseid on screen. Darkseid's one of my favourite characters in DC. I think he's so cool. I, I think he's so badass. And I would just love to see an on-screen version of him. So, and also Apocalypse as well. If they could... If they could set up a dark side through another great, well-made character, I think it would be so good. Zack Snyder nails this character. Oh, it would, they could make a D, the DCU could kick off better than it did with the BVS. So yeah, guys, that was the newest DC news. Um, I'm sorry, it's not a particularly lengthy video by my standards. Um, but yeah guys that, that was just it for, for today's video just a bit of DC news so um, thank you for watching this episode from TNR and I hope you come back for our next episode and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye guys